Hey everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here, and today we are going into Shake Quaza and the Professional Battlers League. Obviously, it's me, John from the Gamer Duo, and we are two and one to Shay's three and zero. Oh. We wanted to kind of smack Shay up and do something. We led with Ente, considering his team, and we had prepped for Smeargle, so we were hoping to get like a tail glow Smeargle thing off. But he didn't bring Smeargle, so uh, game plan completely changes. We were hoping for like a Scissor lead or like a Bug type lead. But uh, we knew a Sacred, Tire, a Sacred Fire did a good chunk to most of his team, except for the Alamomola. But he bullet switches with his Tapu Koko, right? And I'm like, okay, wow, that did more than half. And I'm like, already. And he goes into Alamomola, completely reading our Sacred Fire, because that's the smart play to do. 100% a smart play. It does about 20%. And for once, we actually get the burn off of Sacred Fire. Obviously, it doesn't really matter because it's Alolomola. It's not really supposed to be an attacker. So, like I said, good play. We switch completely out because we don't want to have anything crazy go on. We don't want to scald or take anything else like that. So, we go to Mega Venusaur on a wish. And so, this automatically makes me realize this is a wish, per, wish set. I was expecting Protect on this set. Doesn't have it. But he was he withdraws for his Love Disc and goes to his Alolan Marowak and of course I was already worried about this Alolan Marowak because it was the one thing that destroyed my original battle plan so the fact that he brought it made me like I was like darn it well even more to the original battle plan that doesn't work we make evolve because you have to make evolve turn one in this league we giga drain don't know why we decided to giga drain honestly I just I think that I think we thought it was the better play um but he is wish came true oh we were giga draining on the Alamomola that's what we were doing so then we just toxic we stay in because we know we can take a flare blitz with the thick fat ability and we can might as well get a Toxic off. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty confident at this point in the battle. Obviously not super confident because it's Shay and, you know. But I'm like, okay, we got the Pokemon burned. We got one Toxic. We're kind of doing some damage here. He gets his Rocks up. And Rocks has really hurt me this season. So I really need to find a way to clear them. He withdraws. And we he goes into Ricky Bobby. We stayed in. Uh, and we just decided, let's get a Leech Seed off. And... That really works well, because I guess I was watching Shay's video earlier today, and I guess that Leech Seed actually makes it so we, if he baton passed, that the Leech Seed would have sticked with them. So that's good for that's good for me to know, because I didn't know that um, going into it. So I guess I'm lucky in that aspect. He goes for the sub, and I'm like, oof, yikes! It's gonna be like the speed boost subset. We sludge bomb. We only we don't have very much attack special attack investment. We only have four. So the fact that it broke the sub surprised me as well as it did Shay. Um, either I got a high roll or it just so Golpi doesn't have the damage for it because Mega Venusaur is a beast. And then we get the Leech Seed recovery, speed boost makes it times two, which I'm like, okay, great. We're gonna get swept by whatever he decides to go into. He withdraws and goes into Sizzy Six, his Mega Scizor. Obviously, we decide to go for Sludge Bomb again, predicting a substitute, but. He switched. I was gonna. I was thinking about doubling, but I didn't want to take the risk and hit for him to go to substitute, start setting up and kill. Then we go and switch into Slowbro, predicting like either a steel, like an eye, like a bullet punch, or a um, swords dance. But he, so he mega evolves. We're waiting for this potential swords dance or bullet punch because I know we resist it. But he ends up U turning out, and I'm like, Faloni. What am I going to do with a U-turn slow, bro? We have Regenerator, but the Rocky Helmets, that's not what I was hoping for, obviously. I was hoping for, like, a Bullet Punch so that it would do, like, 10% to my 16. He goes into the, um, whatever, Tapu Koko, and I'm like, okay. He's, I, I want to go into Doug Trio. Hopefully he goes for Volt Switch. Hopefully he does something else. Hey, go into Doug Trio. Of course, we have this primed to t uh, to kill Tapu Koko with the scarf and with Earthquake. He goes for the Dazzling Gleam, unfortunately. And I looked at and the rolls. I was thinking about the rolls in the other one. It was 88% to something, uh, 101. Um, I was like, oh, he might have just died. But we killed Tapu Koko. We got the first kill, which was exciting, let me tell you. Because it was primed exactly the way that I needed it to be. So Sizzy6 ends up coming back out, and I'm faced with the choice of whether to Earthquake and just do damage, which I end up doing, or Preserving. I did the Earthquake just because his team, I think I was fine with his team the way it was. I probably should have preserved it, um, but I didn't, 
and he just U turns into whatever he wants to U turn in. I mean, but then my other thought was, what would my switch in be, really, honestly? Um, and so Ricky Bobby comes out, and of course it's five to five now. And I don't know this match. This match went well. I like. I loved the way this match turned out. We go into Ante, and Ante gets dropped all the way down to forty-two. We click. We wanted. We were thinking about clicking Sacred Fire or Stone Edge, and we were like, okay, I want to click Stone Edge, but I don't want to like screw this up. And he goes into Make Love Disc. I was dumb and totally forgot that you know Stone Edge would have been super effective anyway against the um, whatever. And he reveals Regenerator. I have Regenerator on my slow bro. Figured it was going to be Regenerator. But, um, yeah, if I would have gone for Stone Edge, it would have done a lot more damage. But I probably would have missed because, you know, <laughs> that would be mean. Uh, so then we send in our Mega Venusaur because it's kind of like our switch into this Alamomola. Obviously, he probably predicted it. No, he uses Wish. Okay, I forgot. It's been a couple of days before, like, or almost a week after the, this battle's already been done. Um, so yeah, Mega, his love disc just goes and wishes. He goes into his scissor. I, sw I double out into Jirachi predicting the scissor just because I didn't need the scissor to freaking wreck shop or anything. And so the scissor with the wish ends up bringing him to full health because I forgot that wish is not half of your health. It's half of what wished. So Alamomola is a freaking beast when it comes to that. So he goes into Love Disc, and or may Love Disc Alamomola, and goes and I go for the Fire Punch. Ah, uh, that sucked. That did like four points of damage, and then he reveals Rocky Helmet. So I'm like, oh god, Rocky Helmet Wish Regenerator. This thing's gonna be a tank and mess with me the entire time. And Slowbro comes in. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, I don't know what I want to do, and so. He, we, he withdraws and doubles into is the Izaflon or his um, Alolo Marowak. And I'm like, great. <sighs> Shadowbone, does it kill or not kill? I wasn't 100% sure. It kills, like 100%. There was no way it wouldn't. I was at half. I was thinking about switching out, but I just didn't think it was the greatest idea. And that's kind of been the thing. Thinking about switching out and not it being not the greatest idea, but again, it's been rock. So we go into Ante. And Ante got 42 points of damage, and it dies. It is, I calced it, yeah, one HP difference. One, and it would have lived on one. Ugh, that was so triggering, because, yeah, because uh, 43 is 192. So one HP away from freaking blowing this thing away. So he goes into the Eyes of Lawn. Or uh, I go into Mega Venus where he Shadow Bones and Shadow Bone is doing about 50 to 60, like 70%. But I have the Leech Seed recovery, and yeah, so it makes it much more difficult to kind of keep this thing uh, not dead. And we're faster, we Giga Drained. We didn't have Synthesis, which I, if I brought Synthesis this week, then that would have helped me even more. But I still think Shay definitely would have, you know been able to find some work around but shadow bone will whip me into shape does more like i said does more than 50 percent. so that was something that you know shadow bone and this is this marowak was something that was kind of scary but you know passive kill for mega venusaur after it dies and we're at a 4-0 kind of thing we go into zerkatry because you know we figure zerkatry and then ricky bobby comes out because with the alolan marowak down we can kind of tail glow and do our thing but again, we forgot that sub existed, and so if I would have thunderbolted, that would have been great. Yeah, no. So it, I tail glow on the substitute, and that is pretty much game right there. If I would have thunderbolted, we would still be in great shape. He'd have the plus one speed, but we'd be able to do something. So I thunderbolt here, make the right play, but he goes for earthquake, and the earthquake surprisingly. It doesn't kill. It drops us to about, I think, 18 points of damage, 23. And we pop off with our Salak Berry. So that's fantastic. Now, obviously, that's going to do nothing anymore. It would have done something if I would have Thunderbolted here in the first turn. But, you know, we break. The, he breaks the substitute. He goes for the second Earthquake. Smart on him. Good idea. Great job. And I think that leaves us with only Jirachi left. And... Yeah, I'm a little bit ahead of the commentary. I just, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm 
already I mean I already know what's gonna happen but yeah so obviously he goes for earthquake he kills and yeah I mean the only Pokemon we have left is Jirachi and Jirachi has moves to handle all, all of them except for one pesky mon and so Jirachi comes back in and we're like oh great what are we gonna do and he ends up substituting and I literally as he's doing this move right because of course I heart stamp to get the um, sub broken and so I'm like okay that sub's gone we're fine we're good and in my head I'm like okay what's gonna happen here what's gonna happen here and I was like oh wait a second you have baton pass so I'm looking I'm on the DS is down by the way and I'm like I literally text Jay I'm like Baton pass into Alamomola, question mark. And he's like, like as this move is going, because I'm not going to tell him what to do. And I'm like, oh, I, I just, I, I figured it would happen. I just, it, it's, it's, it's a very, like, after, after watching, with watching Shay, it's a very good thing, that sh something that Shay would do. So I just, I figured, and it was just hilarious. And we, it was all, it was a game all in good fun. I mean, this is the furthest I've been in the timer, because of course you can't see it, but we were at like, in the 20 minute mark so if i would have just held on and maybe stalled it would have been a 4 one loss <laughs> it could have probably very well been a 4 one loss um i'm sure that you know shay wouldn't have let that happen but it ends up being a 4-0 after the love disc knocks off and oh well i guess wow it's doing only like 30 points of damage but yeah he knocks off assault vest which is obviously a good thing for him he knows I don't have wish at that point because why would I have wish if I'm assault vested and well he is he gets his wish back the burn and this and then yeah yada 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 him and I are doing just trying to just get the game over and knockoff ends up killing me so Shay ends up getting a 4-0 victory obviously that's not a bad thing we go against Jetman next week and let me tell you I'm excited for Jetman um, I got a team primed I think not maybe not ready to kill him entirely but it could um hopefully it does but we'll see you in the next video when we take on jetman you'll probably see the team builder for shays in a bit if you don't see it well I'll, i know i deleted it in the team builders so i might have to remake the team yeah but yeah see you in the next video when we take on jetman Bye bye